Well, we're still a few days away from Super Bowl 47, and already the San Francisco 49ers have a leg up on the Baltimore Ravens when it comes to merchandising, at least. NFL licensed jerseys bearing the names of 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick are the hottest selling in the country as of January the 27th. Not only that, but clothing bearing his name were not even ranked in the top 25 during the regular season. Looking at the top-selling NFL team merchandise, the New York Giants take home the trophy, while the 49ers are just outside the top five at number seven, and the Ravens come in at number ten. So you've got your team jersey, check. Shoulder pads, check. Helmet, check. iPad, really? Yeah. When the Baltimore Ravens prepare for their clash with the San Francisco 49ers Sunday, they will have one advantage. They won't be lugging around giant playbooks. Instead, they'll be armed with sleek iPads and a digital app called Game Plan to study plays. Michael Hickens is a CIO Journal senior editor. He joins us now to tell us more about how technology can help football players. Who knew? Well, I mean, the, the main takeaway here is that the players are studying 50% 50 50 more than they were with... Um, paper-based. Simply papers. because it's an easier interface and it's easier to, you know, is it because people like looking at stuff on iPads? Or I think a lot of it is that, um, but also a lot of it is that it is easier to find plays. For instance, uh, one of the teams uh, told us that the players can find plays relative to a particular situation much more easily on the iPad than they can on paper. So for instance, find us a play that will gain more than 10 yards on third down you can do that at, at, at practice. Now, we know that the Ravens have got the iPad and they've got this app. We don't know whether the 49ers are That's using right. it. How much of an actual advantage is this going to give the Ravens, do you think? Well, I think that it gives them a big advantage when it comes to game time preparation. Right. There's another aspect to it where we think that the 49ers are actually ahead of the Ravens, which is in the use of analytics throughout right. the entire operation. So you, the iPad is very useful and it does provide a certain amount of analytics because you're able to find what you need more quickly. But in terms of things like studying other players and what their tendencies are, uh, other coaches, other situational things, uh, the analytics goes a lot deeper. And maybe uh, the 49ers have an advantage there. Right. Well, we've seen countless times digital transformation, meaning that analog companies kind of think, OK, can you impose technology and suddenly you're a digital company? I mean, is this when it comes to sports, which is I mean, the most analog there is, in a way, with a human being doing their thing. That's right. Are we going to see that across all sports, do you think, that this kind of usage of technology and analytics within the technology is really going to make an impact? Well, I think we already have. I think that Moneyball showed that baseball is actually uh, probably further ahead than, than football when it comes to the use of analytics to identify players uh, before they become professional to try to guess whether they're going to be good players or not, and also to study tendencies of your rivals so that you can beat right. them on the field. Now, there is a rule in the NFL that you can't use technology or a device like this 90 minutes before a game so how does this fit in well so this device is more about game time preparation right yeah so it's not actually having an impact on the touchline or right we, we're still not there where uh, robotic quarterbacks are throwing laser laser guided missiles at their receivers but we might get there we may well get there thank you so much for joining us Michael thank Hickens you. CIO Journal senior editor and that story on the CIO Journal this morning of course lots of Super Bowl preparations coming up here on WSJ live